We are at Llama 2023. Yes, it's the UK's biggest agricultural machinery show. I know most of our videos are all about the smaller stuff, but today we have gone big. But it's not just about me, because in the tractor behind, yes, the 2023 tractor of the year is sat my brother-in-law and my son, who are tractor mad and know a lot more about this big stuff than I do. So they're going to help me out and tell me all about it. And we're also going to find out what everyone's favorite tractor of all time is. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. We bring you videos all about machinery every Tuesday and Friday. So let's crack on and check it all out. Thought we might check out the biggest thing first. Yeah. To be fair, it looks ideal. About the same size as a ride on mower, isn't it? Sort of. What's this? 40 foot header? Oh, it's locked. It's locked, mate. It's locked. Yeah, to be fair, these steps are ideal. Size comparison, I'm 6'2", Max is like four foot, what? Nothing. And very huge. Massive. Right, so as I know more about small machinery, I do big machinery, I have brought my brother-in-law with me who knows more about bigger machinery than anyone else I know. So Lee is my machinery guru, should we call advisor, you? Advisor, perhaps? Advisor, yeah. machinery yeah, advisor, like that. that's right. So I'm going to be asking lots of questions as we go around on his opinion of the machinery. And we're also going to be asking people what their favourite tractor of all time is. So we'll find out what yours is in a bit, Lee, shall we? Yeah, I'll get thinking. Right. But let's, let's go and have a look at something. Let's do it. I'm now sat in a Fent 936, absolute weapon of a tractor, but I've never started one, I've never driven one before. So Max is going to tell me, Max, what would I do if I jumped in there? I wouldn't have a clue how to drive this. What do I need to do to start it? Uh, push the clutch, clutch in, in, yeah. and then keys down there. Key there, that's, that starts it, cool. Right, how do I move forward? So, if you put your hand on the joystick, hand on the joystick yeah. there's an orange pad at the back. Right, okay. If you pull that, pull it, yeah. and then push the joystick forward, yeah. And that's let, how it, let go. Let go. Well, the let joystick. Everything, yeah. yeah. And then if you click forwards, you'll go faster. What, on the joystick? Yeah, like that. Like that. Yeah. And then push to that side. That way, yeah. And that's cruise, and you'll stay that speed. Oh, good on. So push forward, forward, forward. Right, I'm happy at this speed. Click at that side, and I can keep driving. That's awesome. And then awesome. backwards to slow down. And then backwards to slow down. And then reverse will be the same. Hold the orange. Uh, how do you? No. And then how do reverse? Neutral. Speed. Neutral, yeah. That's a good. I'd, I'd go with that. I reckon that works, high five mate. I know how to drive a fen. <laughs> <laughs> Had to find a log splitter, didn't I? You know, come to a show all about big machinery, found a log splitter. Throws the grass up in the air rather than just pushes it out behind. You won't get a better lift there, you'll get a better lift at that time, Max. You're sort of scooping up. Yeah, you, you can see. That was a Laylee thing originally, wasn't it? It's just showing the new. Uh, yeah. It's probably just a counter on the back, isn't it? I suppose. Max and Lee are trying to work out the GPS. You can't override it just with the steering wheel. Just the what way? Will we use the Cavara deal spread fertilizer spinner? Yeah. Right, so I was asking Lee why a baler had wrap on the front of it to go around the bale. I've seen it many a times, but I don't know why. So I had to ask him the question, and well, he's explained it perfectly. So tell me, Lee, tell the others why that they do that. This here is your Fusion McHale baler. It is known as the Fusion Plus, but it's integrated film on film. Whereas the old balers, you'd put the net wrap on, then you'd have to uh, apply your uh, wrap at the end. You'd look in at six layers around the center of the bale and numerous layers of wrap on the sides. This now integrates wrap on direct to the crop. And then after that, it then puts the normal wrap on meaning you've got extra wrap all round with actually out spending extra money because you can minus the net to include the film. So instead of the net, you've got the film round to start with and yep. then the wrapper at the back still does your still six, does the wrapping, normal six layers all the way you're not wasting wrap on the sides if you wanted extra wrap around the cylinder of the bed. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. It is. Good idea. Yeah. I do love a compact tractor, as you know, but drinks holders. Where am I supposed to put my bottle? Back to that again. Same old story. <laughs> That's pretty cool in here though, isn't it? Good visibility, dude. There's no names on here. <laughs> and there's no phone holder in the window. <laughs> right, so Lee's very excited because we are stood in front of a Bateman sprayer, which 
he just loves, absolutely adores a Bateman sprayer, nearly as much as Ollie Bloggs does, possibly. Nearly. I don't know, nearly. Nearly? Nearly, yeah, nearly okay. yeah. Right, here we are on the Bateman stand. Uh, just a quick little update. This here is the RB55, the range topper of the Bateman sprayers. Here today, it's running the VG booms, so as they fold out and follow the ground, they contour fold up and down, so you don't have to worry about hitting the ground. It's got the new Bateman cab, which is, spraying is the demanding job. You've got to be morning, nights, middle of the nights. Having that brilliant cab to work in is excellent conditions to, to keep driving in. Um, so, yeah, all in all, an excellent sprayer all round. We're in a Massey Ferguson telehandler, yeah, Massey telehandler. And, Max, what's the joystick like? All right. Not as good as the Manitou. Not as good as the Manitou, he says, apparently. <laughs> Max had to have a go in the Zerion, didn't he? It's locked. Oh, no, dude. They just stand behind it, it's fine. <laughs> it's locked. So I think Max's challenge today was just to sit in as many machines as possible. Can't blame him, it's awesome. Mad, I don't know. Like I say, I think it's the biggest linkage I've ever seen in my life. Look, it's like the top link on it is like four foot long. It is massive, absolutely huge. Also, it's a Zerion 4200, isn't it? Is that what it is? Massive. All equipped with a slurry tank on top there. Yeah, all ready for the dribble bar on the back, eh? Dribble bar or injector or however you want to apply yeah. slurry. Put it on, away you go. Circle pelt machine. You'd have to spread a lot of slurry to warrant that. Yeah. <laughs> but it all comes back to compaction again. Yeah, yeah. Possibly, what I think. Yeah. You got the bank balance for it. No. <laughs> yeah. no. I don't think I have either. <laughs> you're only then taking in your grain, you're not yeah, yeah. put all the plant through. Get on. So underneath there somewhere there will be choppers. So you get one plant per thing, those two come up together. Yeah, uh, one plant, two plant. Yeah, not big goods. Yeah. The way seven and a half ton. Empty. Empty is seven and a half ton. It's built like a brick outhouse. I don't think there's anyone out there that's gonna be <laughs> Yeah, it should, it should be in there, because he did have it. No, you got news, you got news. <laughs> <laughs> Demo of the Coyote K9 UTV coming this year. Make sure you click subscribe. Go! <laughs> no, no, he's not. Sorry, on. Same no? difference, but not. No, no. That's probably 300,000, isn't it? What, to buy? Yeah. We found a max size track there. Oh, yes. Better than the Fent 2.4, isn't it, mate? No? He doesn't reckon it's better than the Fent. I think it's perfect for him. Loader. Nice linkage, you can even reach the pedals. Perfect. We're on the line watch stand and they've got a proper little competition to dig up sweets with a digger and put them the other end. Right, they're gonna time me to do it. Go. Oh, oh, there you are. Fantastic, off you go. the time? 25. Was it? Yeah, if I hadn't have done that. It's not your first on time on a digger, man. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> Don't dip it out. Oh, no. Go again. Quick, go. Steady. That's the line. <laughs> well done, mate. The safest form of digging, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Well done, Maxie. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's fine. I'm happy with that. Thank you, man. Thank you for being so good. I haven't seen him yet, though. Uh, but oh, you've got to put your hand in the little strappy thing. I, I know it makes, it, it makes it easier for washing, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's vulnerable, isn't it? This is no? the electric. Oh, that's electric one, is it? Right. The, the midsole is, oh, yeah. is the green That's the new one there, is it? Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool, isn't it? One of the a bit more modern than the bloody old ones that I used to drive. One of the switches. Sorry. Oh, is this one of the switch sides, is it? Yeah, because you, well yeah, you can pull all that off, oh, can't you? Yeah. Hey, Lee, I found your new cereal bowl. It's proper. <laughs> that was a proper posh John Deere 6800 behind us in mint condition. So we're having a little vote on how old it is. I think it's 1999. Lee? I would go 97. 97? 97. 96. 96. So we go 96. <laughs> 96, 97, 99. Let's go and have a look. We were all wrong. It's actually 1995 on an Emridge. Yeah, Max is closest, 96. High five, Max. <laughs> shut him in, shut him in, Lee. Leave him in there. Mind those bullocks' legs on those mud cars, mine. Right, cheers, Max. We'll see you tomorrow. What tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it looks like an airship. I'm presuming that goes up and down, yeah? Rises you up to get over the tall oh, okay. mace when you're harvesting. Rather and so you can see in your trailer easier as well? Yeah, there's that, yeah. More so, like I say, rather than harvesting your maize there in front of you all the time. Yeah, yeah. 
the idea is to get you up above the crop so you can see more easy yeah, access yeah, yeah. into the trailer, like you say. And that looks like a big M over there. Yeah. Is that a big M? Big M. That's a big mower. It is a big mower. <laughs> big mower. <laughs> so as that cuts the grass, it's got a big auger in it which sends it that way. All I can think is that auger must be going like crazy. Augers normally go quite slowly to allow the material to go through it. But to cope with the speed that this would go, that has got to be flying. That's mad. I want to see that working. Boy, small M on a big M. Yeah, little Max. Little Max on a big M. Must have got Briggs and Stratton engine, I reckon it's a Vanguard. Max, it's even big enough to camp underneath at night. <laughs> Jesus, what? We're on the grammar stand, and this is supposed to be the top seat of the Trattler world. So I'm going to sit on it because it does lots of special things. So I sit on it. Oh, it's pumping me up. So obviously someone lighter was sat in it before me. I don't know. Ha! Huh. But it's got air cooling. It's got heated seat and lumbar support adjustment, all electric on the side. Ah! Uh, that's like an armchair. Sitting here all day. That's right. Just feeling like you're bailing. Proper. So this is the Fent Cargo T740 telehandler. What was mainly different about this is that the cab actually lifts up in the air to give you better visibility, whether that's going loading into trailers or being able to just see better. But I think it's pretty cool. Do you like it, Monk? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But it's got these different controls on the floor, which is for up and down on the cab. So you've got up and down on your foot pedal. But it's quite cool. So we're here on the Ascenso stand and it's turning out to be a really, really good show. But you're not too tired yet, Max, are you? No. Should we do see some more? Yeah. Let's crack on. I think I found a new office. Fold the steps down. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like a secret. That goes down there, look. And then, yes, we have found a new office. It's fairly big in there, isn't it? So I'm going to fit my desk in. Perhaps Will's, you know, editing studio. Lock him in there so he can't, you know, he can't come out until he's finished editing the next video. <laughs> you there, Maxie. <laughs> How do you lift your how do you lift your header up? Um yeah. Oh the yellow button at the bottom. That's cool. Sierra five nine two nine four, where's my trailer? Need trailer sat in the field here. I ain't got no trailer, sat here by myself. He is a proper fent addict, can't get him off him. Come on. Let's go and look at something else. Can't dude. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that's good. So Lee goes, look, let's look at a maze drill to Mac. So we're coming to have a look. So I said, what? You put seed in here and in there. He goes, no, you put fertilizer in there and seed in here. And now he's showing us how it all works. So how does it work, Lee? Seed obviously goes in the top. Yeah. And you can see down inside there, Max. Yeah. And right in underneath there. Yeah. There's a disc that will run inside of that. It sucks up individual maize seeds, and as it comes around, the air disappears, and the seed will then drop, go into the go into the ground, and get pressed back again. What, with the fertilizer at the same time? The fertilizer runs on the front of this and down through from the hopper at the top. Get on. So the fertilizer's right beside the seed, ready to grow. Get on. Yeah, I knew all that, obviously. <laughs> maize brew, maize brew works on two theories. Your front hopper is working on blowing the fertilizer down the tubes yeah. and the back part of the tubes air is being suctioned out. Right. So as you may as this is going around inside the hopper, mm. sucks up the seed. Yeah. And then as I said, as it goes down around, yeah. where it gets to a point there's no air. Right. So like there behind. Yeah. The seed then drops down through the seed chute and out through to get pressed back in. Fertilizer's already there ready to go. He knows quite a lot of stuff, doesn't he? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so frisbee. He would. I couldn't come to a show without finding something made by Hasvana. Well, I am on a twin ride-on power float. I've never seen one myself, but most people don't know that Hasvana produce a massive range of construction equipment from wacker plates right up to demolition robots. They're pretty cool, They're bloody amazing, really. From the Winton Compact Machinery Stand, where they make a lot of different types of machinery for compact tractors. And a dealer friend of mine has been selling quite a lot of them for a long time, so I've been looking forward to checking them out. And to be fair, they're built extremely well for compact tractor equipment. Highly recommend it. Got a compact tractor? Buy something from Winton. All right, I might be mistaken. Branson tractor with a drinks holder. <laughs> look at that. Look, you've got forward and reverse there, look. 
Board in reverse. Right, so that is everything from Llama 2023. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Max and to Lee for helping me out. I've now got two machinery advisors, which is very much needed. We'll bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about machinery. So thank you very much for watching. We hope you subscribe. Cheerio.